18 months ago, the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation and Agriculture and the European Union started a project called Productivity Enhancement of Banana Farms through Integrated Soil Fertility Management in the Banana Belt area of Belize. Today, the two organizations joined their partners, the Belize Banana Growers Association, the Ministry of Agriculture and the University of Belize, to officially close off the project as the EU's final investment in the banana sector. The EU and AICA say that the €2 million Euros project was successfully implemented. This project has been executed in 18 months. Uh, all the activities have been delivered, uh, effectively delivered. And um, I think that this new setup of uh, project management has been proved to be very successful. This is exactly the kind of project that I've been pushing for at AICA. Uh, I think it's important for ourselves, it's important for the international donors and for the governments to bring innovation directly to the farm. It includes the partic participation of the government, the academic, and the private sectors working together to improve a specific sector. This is what we should be doing to have a tangible impact on productivity and economic development. The goal of the project is to increase overall banana production through proper soil practices and that increase in production is expected to be felt in the economy and to improve the quality of life for banana growers and their families in the Banana Belt area. So to do that, AICA, the Banana Growers Association and their partners conducted a number of activities including field visits, the development of a soil management manual, drainage work on over 1,000 acres, soil decompaction, the replanting of over 1,000 banana plants, as well as workshop and trainings. Elroy Foreman of the BGA discusses the impact of these investments. I must say though, the implementation of the project was successful, but the BGA wants to make it clear that total positive impact of the project is years away. For it's, for it's not just easy, it's a process. It's not just easy to change organic material content of your soil from 2.5% to 4%. It's not just easy to change your soil pH from 4.8 or lower to 6.8 in 18 months. Some immediate positive impacts were seen from fertilizer, drainage, and soil decompaction. The overall concept of integrated soil fertility management is in our hearts, and we understand clearly that this is something that will continue to be a part of our way and means of producing bananas. Dr. Cheney St. Martin of Aika Trinidad and Tobago says that when the project started a year and a half ago, more than 60% of the banana farms had poor soil quality. Fast forward to today, some of those farms have turned things around because they've implemented many of the best practices learned through the integrated soil fertility management part of the project. As St. Martin explains, the soil management and productivity of farms go hand in hand. Because of the long period of, of, of production, the, the soil has suffered a bit um, because of the focus on chemicals. In fact, that most of the farms there, 63%, were under what you'd classify as moderate to severe soil fertility problems, with only about 33% of 35, 37% being no problem or slight problem. And so what we did, we collected the data that was there. The main problem was the soil pH problem, very acid soils, and also we had a severe compaction problem. And we felt that it was necessary to take that information along with the communication and the discussion of the BGA to develop something that does not only speak to the use of uh, implements, but giving the farmer the capacity, the power to actually solve some of the problems and to test when certain interventions are working or not working. And we are seeing results both on the farm and on the demonstration plots. We are seeing the decompaction level not a very severe, up to six months. We are seeing, like I mentioned, the pH has improved. It has been sustained. We are even seeing one of the critical things is that the microbial activity, the health aspect of the soil, they have improved. More so, we are seeing some farmers from the beginning, some farms moving from the severe group that I mentioned to a no problem kind of farm. So within the space of 18 months, I think that that is very con um, commendable. And if we continue on that trajectory, I, it's all promising from there on. 
A part of the project included the upgrading of UB's micropropagation lab with equipment, water and security systems, as well as training for lab technicians. And for the first time in the history of the banana industry, 3,500 meristems were produced right here in Belize inside the lab. Two plots were planted in farms in the banana belt. They were successfully harvested a few weeks ago. The partners say the plants produced bananas that are comparable to imported plantlets. Now, UB hopes to produce up to 100,000 plantings for the next banana crop. What this project has done is to build a capacity in Belize, a Belizean capacity to produce banana plants for the industry. And that is, to my mind, the biggest, biggest plus and gain. The University of Belize commits itself to selling those plants to the farmers at a competitive but fair price. And we are prepared to work with you to ensure that happens. We are prepared over time to move from about 100,000, 75,000 plants to about 500,000 plants in five or six years. But let us begin next year. Let's produce 100,000, and the next year, the next 100,000. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.